now we are ready to do a recording. So I'm going to click on start recording. You can see down at the bottom there's a little control panel. It counted down. So now we're actually recording. Okay, you'll notice there's a pencil down here. If you click on this, it'll give you colors that will highlight when you click your cursor on the screen. So yellow is always a good idea. If I wanted to point out something to the students, I could click my cursor and it will make a yellow spot wherever I click. Over here you have other options. You can actually draw on the screen. Perhaps that I would want to change that to red. So it's also highlighting every time I stop. I'm just drawing my name here. Say you needed to point out something to them. So that's a really neat feature. You can also do a better arrow than what I did by using the arrow that they give you an option to use. And you can type. whatever you'd like to say. Now I'm back to just the cursor and then the select tool. Selected all my items and I can move those. So quite a bit of functionality here and you can change the size of your uh, your cursor that or your marker. If you're drawing, you want it to be more fine line, you can do that. Let's see, even finer than that. Um, if you want to clear your screen because you're ready to talk about something else, just go ahead and click the little trash can here and it'll get rid of all of everything. So, you can pause the recording if you need to change to another slide. Um, I'm not doing that, obviously, so I'm just going to end this recording by clicking on stop. Are you sure you want to stop? Yes, please stop it. Alrighty, so now we are back to the manage area that we saw before. Um, here's, remember we put the prefix of music. Now obviously this isn't a music video. It also has the date. Maybe you want to keep that. Nine. Maybe you don't need the time on it. Put a description, you could add tags, which helps people find it. It's like classical example. You could play the video here. Panel, it counted down. So now we're actually so it recorded very well. That's really nice. So at this point I can save it. If I save it, it's gonna go to the library. If I save and upload it, it's gonna put it up in my media in Canvas. So the first thing I'm going to do is save. So here it is in my library. I can now delete it or I can upload it. I'm going to click on upload. All right, so it's uploaded and here's the link for it. It also tells us how long it is. So I'm going to click on that. And here is my video. And as usual, you have some options in Canvas. One thing you can do is launch an editor and actually look at your video here and do some editing. So if you do need to cut something out um, or say you've got something at the beginning that recorded before you were ready to record, you can move that, save it. You can do all that in here. And then you can save a copy. So this concludes our third and final video in our tutorial about using the new Kaltura Capture. Contact the eLearning Media team if you have any questions. 